Hi, we're here at Hanover Messe at the SAP booth, and I'm here with Hala Zane, your president at the digital supply chain at SAP. And many companies and many people talk about digital transformation. What does the digital transformation in the supply chain look like? Well, yes, very loaded question, mm -hmm. but excellent question. I think Industry 4.0 has come. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, we all started with the first industrial revolution, and sometimes you have to look backwards to mm -hmm. look forward. And what was so special about the industry first revolution? Mm -hmm. It was the fact that we introduced these lovely steam engines into every factory. But a steam engine, by definition, is a single siloed place. So everything had to work in a very rigid way, all off of one single shaft. Then we had electrification that allowed the distribution of this. Right? And so now we can go with the different conveyor belts and it was more decentralized into unit based. Then we of course had all the machines get a bit automated. Mm -hmm. That was the third revolution. So now we automate, make each machine do more and do more faster mm -hmm. and monitor what they're doing. Now comes 4.0. And 4.0 is really great opportunity for us because of the capabilities of how technology has evolved to first of all connect everything with each other, uh -huh. but be even more decentralized, right? So that's why at SAP we keep saying connect digitally to perfect reality. We should not forget why we are doing all of this. We're uh -huh. doing it because ultimately we want our products to delight our customers. Uh -huh. We want to be able to have these products that basically have come in in smaller and smaller lot sizes that are being able to configure right, each product specifically for a specific customer. Uh -huh. We talk about personalized medicine, but think of what that's gonna do to supply chain. So, that means you need a digital transformation. You need to be able to not just automate, but bring intelligence into your supply chain. You need to bring in customer centricity, uh -huh. and you need to create that visibility, that connection fabric between all the different systems in order for you to be able to execute in a safe way and in a great way. So, that's what it means. That's quite a challenge, I think, for quite some companies. What type of strategies do you see in the market that they deploy to basically manage this digital transformation? So we've been working, for example, with um, Singapore, uh -huh. right, to create an overall matrix index uh -huh. to help companies identify where should I get started. I think that's one of the first challenges that companies have. Uh -huh. You can easily get enamored with technology, like IoT this and blockchain that and artificially intelligence this, right? It can get exciting. But you got to keep your eye focused on what is the business problem you're trying to solve. Uh -huh. And generally, it's simply one. You want to delight your customer and what's getting in the way. It's also in supply chain super tricky because it's really easy to improve what you're good at, but it's really hard to improve what you're not good at. Uh -huh. And a supply chain is not just a chain. It's a lot of stories happening in parallel. So how do you focus on the right things? Meaning your weakest link is going to be what you need to focus on because that's where you're going to get the most business value. Uh -huh. So from a business perspective, that's the first journey. Try to identify why and what you're trying to accomplish, what are the right KPIs. Then go the second step and say, okay, when I say why, let me look at the business process. Personally, I do not like the as is to be because you get stuck in the as is. Uh -huh. I like to say, throw it all out. New tools need new rules, right? Let's okay. go. Let's imagine what we could do given all the technology that we have available at our mm -hmm. fingerprints. Imagine a new world. Some kind of rip and replace? It's not, it doesn't necessarily need to be. Okay. But you cannot restrict your imagination with mm -hmm. what you have based on your old processes. Okay. Right? And then you have to map it backwards. Mm -hmm. Don't do as is to be, do to be, and then look, okay, what do I have and how do I go from A to B? Mm -hmm. And what are the main areas? Focus on where you will then get the most outcome. If a business transformation, a digital transformation is happening without focus on KPI, it becomes a pet project. Yeah. It's just another POC that we're gonna throw away. So how do I make it sustainable? Every digital transformation part needs to ultimately show up in reduced inventory, reduced cost, and improved customer SLAs. You're talking about customer centricity. What kind of impact does it have on the customer experience? Everything. A great customer experience is based on a great product experience. Uh -huh. So, I, I, you know, one of my favorite things is, I heard this and I love it, it stuck with me. There's two moments of truth of every company. The first moment of truth is when I want something and I buy it and I get it. Uh -huh. And the second moment of truth is when I use the product and it does what it's supposed to do. Uh -huh. The last thing I want is to call a service, right, desk of some sort. 
So I expect that of my suppliers, the product that I want as I want it available to me when I want it, and the product to work as expected. And at SAP you have a design to operate process. Can you explain what it implies and how it works? So as customers want more individualized products, uh -huh. right? as the world of uncertainty, as our investors expect more and more cash, right? more and more um, ability to do more with less, uh -huh. right? and as technology proliferates, we do have the need to create a fabric based on the customer and based on the asset throughout the entire supply chain. Uh -huh. So at SAP, we start with design where basically an engineer has designed something lovely, magnificent, and you want to be able to keep track of that, make sure that you have all the information. At the same time, you want to do it in a way that allows your customers maximum flexibility and configurability, right? So now you've ordered your specific equipment piece exactly as you want it and the color that you want and the size that you want, everything else. We want to make sure that we're capturing that. That needs to come into your planning. You need to plan your overall supply chain. You have to anticipate what customers want so you're carrying the right amount of inventory. Mm -hmm. There's a whole trickiness here because the more inventory you have, the more you can fulfill your SLAs, but the more inventory you have, the more cost that you have, so you gotta keep this balance. So you do this balance by being able to incredibly demand sense what your customers want. Now you're able to execute. You have the right materials in place. Your inbound warehouses send the material into the uh, factory. The factory has to be ready. When is the production plan? How is it going to work? How is it sequenced? Right? And then from there, it's going to go out, get transported, potentially even by your own factories, uh -huh. by your third party factory. Sometimes you buy the stuff for the third company to do it for you, but you still want to do quality controls. And then the same thing happens in the warehouse and in the transport. You want to have the integration to your logistics provider. And then you want to keep track of this asset that you have built. Give it a birth certificate exactly to know what materials, what process, so that you really know the quality and the traceability of this product. Uh -huh. So when it lands in your customer's hands, you really know about this product. And now the product is in its natural environment. But then digitalization would allow us to actually connect the operator with the manufacturer so that they're keeping track of the same equipment in view throughout the life cycle. Hopefully get feedback back and improve your product continuously. Definitely. And to manage this whole process, what do you see with your clients? What type of technology do they use? So, different pieces. So, as I've said before, it's really about business process and uh -huh. where do I really focus on. So, some of our clients are really focused on planning. Uh -huh. How do I improve planning? If one of my um, factories um, rose is down, right? How do I know what the impact this will have on my SLAs? Which customers will be impacted? Also, if I have demand, how do I make sure that I prepare my whole supply chain mm -hmm. ready to meet this demand? Other customers, especially here at Hanover Mesa, very much focused on how do I optimize my manufacturing. But if you optimize it in isolation, it's not going to be that helpful. So you have to look at it within the context of your overall KPIs. So some companies are looking at automation. Mm -hmm. How do I bring all these pieces together? So one key thing we're working on is Every single piece of equipment on the shop floor has now a voice, thanks to digitalization. So how do I connect these voices to know what is the impact that if one piece goes down, then everything else will be impacted? So to keep that in mind, so the orchestration of the factory, according to the customer centricity, and then managing my assets uh -huh. and connecting to each equipment piece so that I can predict before it breaks down I can prescribe digitally, actually visualize the asset, look at it and be able to see what's happening in it. This takes a little bit more, so some are a bit more, you know, IoT, IoT. It's not all IoT. It's IoT plus knowing the materials and plus knowing the physics and how the materials move, right? For example, an engine, how the, how the air is moving inside in order for you to really simulate what is happening. It's an exciting time, there's so much we can do. Exciting time and exciting story. I think a very complete story. Thanks a lot for all your insights. Thank you. And thank you for watching here from Hannover Messe from the SAP booth. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.